A common myth circulates that marijuana is an inherently dangerous substance with no redeeming qualities for the brain or body, but that view ignores what science has since uncovered. On the other side, a competing belief says it's a completely harmless natural plant. The truth is somewhere in the middle. Marijuana is a complex plant with compounds that can offer therapeutic benefits yet also pose genuine risks. Understanding this duality is the first step toward an informed decision. Many people are turning to cannabis for recreational enjoyment or specific health reasons. The plant contains hundreds of chemicals, but two superstars drive most effects, THC and CBD. Think of them as two different keys fitting into the same set of locks in your neurological system. One key turns the lock noticeably, the other gently adjusts the mechanism. Before you try weed, move beyond myths and look at the science. We'll explore THC and CBD, outline short-term effects, discuss long-term risks, and share harm reduction tips for clearer choices. Let's start with THC, short for Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, the plant's primary psychoactive component. THC mimics a natural neurotransmitter and binds cannabinoid receptors in the brain's endocannabinoid system. This system helps regulate mood, memory, sleep, and appetite. When THC latches on, it can produce euphoria, relaxation, altered sensory perception, and increased appetite. But especially with high-potency products, some feel anxiety, paranoia, or panic. THC can impair short-term memory, judgment, and coordination, making driving or using machinery dangerous. Effects depend on dose, method of consumption, and your unique brain chemistry. A small amount may feel relaxing, while a large edible can be intense or frightening. CBD, or cannabidiol, is non-intoxicating and can counter some THC-induced anxiety. Unlike THC, CBD binds weakly to the same receptors and works more indirectly across multiple systems. It's studied for anxiety, pain, and seizures. A purified CBD is FDA-approved for rare pediatric epilepsies. Key point, THC alters perception. CBD may help restore balance without causing impairment. Smoked or vaped, effects begin within minutes. As edibles, they often start after one to two hours. THC disrupts communication in the hippocampus, making it harder to follow conversations or learn new tasks. Time can feel distorted, minutes like hours. Motor skills and reaction time slow, impairing coordination, balance, and reflexes. Driving under the influence is illegal and unsafe. Crash risk increases. Impairment can last hours after the high fades. Heart rate can rise by 20-50 beats per minute for up to three hours, usually benign for healthy adults, riskier with heart disease or hypertension. Vessels dilate causing red eyes. Psychological responses vary widely. Some feel relaxed and euphoric. Others feel anxiety, fear, or paranoia. Negative reactions are more common with higher doses, new users, and uncomfortable settings. In rare cases, very high doses can trigger temporary psychosis. Start low, go slow, and mind your environment. Short-term effects wear off, but regular heavy use can bring persistent consequences, especially starting young. The teenage brain is still wiring. Frequent use links to learning problems, lower academic outcomes, and possible IQ decline. Cannabis use disorder can develop. About 9% of users, and roughly 17% who start in their teens, develop dependence. In 1970, marijuana was Schedule Y, limiting research. Today, many states allow medical use and some allow recreational use. Higher risk, adolescents and under 25s, people with personal or family psychosis history, pregnant individuals, those with substance use disorders. Medical use targets specific symptoms with controlled dosing and ratios. Recreational use seeks a high without clinical oversight. Know your product. Prefer lower THC or balanced THC CBD. Start low, go slow, especially with edibles. Don't mix with alcohol. Never drive or operate machinery. Store securely away from kids and pets. Understand THC versus CBD, your risk factors, and use harm reduction strategies. When in doubt, talk to a trusted health professional.